The SAP Analytics Cloud Analytics Designer enables you to package up much of the functionality available in Stories for exploring and visualizing data into standalone applications that can be embedded on web pages. Here in the Analytics Designer, you can visualize the application on the canvas, navigate between objects in the Outline panel, monitor errors in the Info panel, and build and style widgets in the Designer panel. Saving your application early and often is a good practice, as new objects need to be committed to the back end before they can be used in scripts. A single canvas is available for creating the layout of your application. However, you can use multiple container objects, like panels or tab strips, to group other widgets and configure elements of these containers, such as the size, position, and color. You can also add and customize pop-up windows so you can layer content over the main layout. You can add scripting later to determine when certain content is visible. In your containers, you can add other widgets that help to define the layout and guide users through your application. Use shapes like lines and rectangles to delineate different sections, Add images that make the content meaningful, like logos and other branded artwork. And add and format text to give users key information. Once the basic layout for your application is set up, you can start adding data. The same capabilities that are available in your stories for displaying data using charts, tables, geomaps, R visualizations, and so on, are also available for analytic applications. You can specify the data source for a chart, choose which measures to display, choose which dimensions to display, and apply filters to focus on key information, along with a multitude of other configuration options. The same options are available for displaying data in tables. Now that the main widgets are in place, you can build some interactive capabilities into the application using a combination of object-specific formulas, script variables, script objects, technical objects, and APIs. First, you'll add a slider to the application so users can see how the aggregate values change as different discount percentages are applied. You'll start by creating a script variable that will pass the selected value between objects. Next, you'll create a calculated measure that uses the script variable to generate a new value in the chart. You'll apply the same calculated measure to the table. You'll also add a slider widget to the page, configure its settings, and save your changes. Now you can use JavaScript to define actions associated with the widget. Keep in mind that to get help in the script editor, you can press Ctrl plus space and start typing to show a list of supported functions and objects. Here, you want to define the value of the script variable you previously created by getting the value from the slider. Finally, when the canvas is initialized, you want to set the value of the slider to the default value from the script variable. Another type of interactivity is to manipulate when widgets are visible. Here, for example, you'll enable users to toggle between the chart and table, which display the same data in different formats. You'll do this by adding images to represent each state, 
defining the script to determine which elements are visible when the table icon is clicked, and the reverse for when the chart icon is clicked. You'll also set up the chart icon to share the same space on the canvas as the other icon, and for it to be hidden when the application first runs. The same changes are applied to the table object. You can also add a button that opens the pop-up you created earlier and set the button in the pop-up to close it again. Now that all the objects and scripts are in place, you can finalize the application by applying custom CSS themes and saving your changes. When you run the analytic application, you can see how the interactive elements work. To embed the application into other pages, you can copy the link from the sharing options. These are just a few of the options available for creating your own analytic applications. For more details, check out the help topic links in the description and try it for yourself today.